Sagittarius. Hello, hello. So, August already. Oh my gosh. I know I'm a couple of days late. Um, I'm kind of working my way through in um, sections of, um, you know, earth, fire, air and water. Um, so obviously I'm currently on fire signs. Oh, hiccups, fire signs. I'm just picking a divine feminine energy card for you guys. Just to have a bit of an overall feel for what your month ahead is going to be. What kind of energy we're expecting. As these are really lovely cards. So, this is about not hiding anymore, Sagittarius. Okay, so, um, I have nothing to hide. I see and accept all that I am. I feel like you have been punishing yourself for experience you've had, things you have gone through, a way that you're feeling. Um, this is accepting all sides of yourself, okay? We all have light and dark. We are not all one or the other. We all have moments. Um... And we all struggle sometimes and that's human and that's completely okay and I feel like you are being a little bit too hard on yourself about your emotions right now Sagittarius and so it's causing you to um, go within to retreat um, you need to realize you are um, the universe and the universe is you everything is absolutely all connected and it is all super beautiful um so stop hiding yourself <laughs> um what i love is the first two cards out straight away were dream and hope um i'll just show you these and dream and hope um, and these for me, the hope card especially, is about hope for your mental and spiritual well-being. Because I feel like this is something that has been, um, I've got healing there, something that has been playing on your mind that you have been struggling with, that you have not felt um, as confident in lately. Um, and this for me is definitely saying, look, hold on, keep going, keep working. Because I do feel like you have been working really hard on your well-being. And... Um, they're kind of just saying, look, keep going because you're going in the right direction, okay? You're you're moving towards this healing to this um to this new energy. Um, there's still quite a way to go. I feel like you've had quite a lot that you have been dealing with, that you have been hiding, that you have not um necessarily expressed to yourself more than anyone else. Um, so there is definitely that as well. Um, the dream card for me is kind of about dreaming bigger, realizing your potential, knowing that you can have the life that you want, um, and not limiting yourself. I feel like quite quite quickly and quite easily you get very limited in your um, thought patterns, your beliefs, the stories you tell yourself. I feel like you're very quick to say this exactly is what I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> Goddess of creation, transformation, creativity, and wholeness. Okay, this is about everything being connected. Um, I feel like you're very, very quick to um, put yourself in a bad mindset going, well, that's it. That's cost me X amount of money and now I've got no money and, and you go in a bit of a spiral. Um, and that, of course, is telling the universe, you know, you're, you're out there going, universe, I don't have any money. Um, and so the universe is like, OK, you don't you don't have any money. Um, tell the you tell the universe you have money tell the universe you're grateful that you want a pound on a scratch card um you know start changing your mindset because i feel like this is a really um big issue for you right now you need to dream more you need to um you know explore life a little bit more and know that it's not about <sighs> sometimes yes we've got to be realistic but sometimes as well we have to remember that our creativity is the biggest driving force for creating the life that we want um what i really love is along with the healing and hope card we have purification this is all about emotional cleansing and rejuvenation um which is very much everything that's just kind of been said which i love even more um so this is definitely a time for august of you cleansing your emotional past um and you're moving forward in your healing okay i definitely feel that like you're making a lot more progress than you're maybe giving yourself credit for um and i definitely definitely feel a new sense of self um towards sort of mid-august um i definitely feel some really really beautiful positive changes coming towards you um and i really feel like you're going to start realizing and appreciating the healing that you've done and the progress that you've made and and all of these really beautiful things so i feel like august is definitely going to be a really big time of kind of um rediscovering and embracing yourself and being in a much more emotionally um stable energy so that's really really beautiful um so i'm just gonna pick one of my little cards from this little box here 
time. Let's have a little shuffle. Sagittarius. <laughs> what did I just say? Gratitude. Okay, this is absolutely what I was saying about your dreaming, your ability to manifest your life. Um, it all starts with gratitude. It all starts with your mindset, the way you speak about things, okay? Um, so, you know, instead of being like, well, that cost me 50 quid, you can go, well, you know, it cost me 50 quid and I'm grateful that I had the money to pay for it. And, you know, I know that I'm supported by the universe and at least it didn't cause, I don't know, X, Y, Z. There are so many different ways you can look at things. Um, obviously, that's a really brief, um, a very simplistic um, example. Um, you know, you've got to apply it to yourself in your own way. But I feel like this is a really crucial shift for moving into this healing hope here. Um, but yeah, overall, it does feel like there's a lot of good change coming your way. And I definitely feel like your energy is going to feel very renewed and refreshed. So do look out for that because you've been waiting for that for a long time. <laughs> this, has been an, this has been an ongoing battle for you, okay? So you've also got to accept. You have to remember to accept that we are all light and dark. We are not all one, not all the other. Um, we are a mix. We are connected to everything. So stop beating yourself up when you're having a bad time, okay? And look at your mindset because I feel like that's going to shift everything as well for you. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this this month's energy forecast it's been such a pleasure to do for you um in the meantime don't forget to subscribe it means the world to me and if you do want a private reading all the details of course are in the description box below and i look forward to speaking to you all again very very soon lots of love take care speak to you all soon